It's really hard to imagine a better fishier looking stretch of a river or just a little bank spot on a river. And um, this just looks awesome. I've been to the spot one time in the summer and I've been trying to get back to it. It's two hours from my house. I've been wanting to do it. I've been, I've had it on my mind and I'm finally here. The water is a little high, I can tell, but it doesn't look like it's, it looks just got that like little tint of like from that winter rain. It's got a good flow. I'm only, I'm, I'm gonna fish off the bank a little bit, but I'm also planning on putting my kayak in here and just kind of fishing this hole. And I, maybe that hole right there, I can kind of fish a couple holes and I feel like I can get out of the water. Now there should be some bass in here, but there's also um, a fish in here that's a lot bigger than a bass. And I don't know if we're gonna come across one today, but that would be awesome. But I'm just excited to get out here and explore. Here we go. Okay, I've made a few casts off the bank. I haven't seen anything. I know these fish are probably deeper as cold water, but um, we gotta get the kayak in here just to explore a little bit, just to be able to, cause some of them banks, that bank over there looks like it's got some calm pockets on it. And uh, there's a rock ledge up there. So um, even if we can't travel very far with a kayak, um, I think it's gonna be easy to get it in and just kind of fish around here for a while. Got my paddle. I'm gonna go back to the truck. All right. Oh my, what? Dude, I got something good. Oh my goodness. What a hook. What did I hook? Is it the fish I came for? Or what? Because I haven't got a bite. It is. No way. Let's see if we can land it. Let's see if we can land it because this is not the rod and reel I wanted to catch it on, but it is the fish we came for. It's not a big one. I think I can handle him. Yes, yes. Come here, come here, come here. Oh! Jump right out of the net. No! Man, I couldn't get it in. Man, I really wanted to get a look at that fish. A little musky, you know, probably 25 inches long. Um, really pretty. I've been here for an hour, haven't got a bite. I've thrown the spinnerbait and the Helgramite going back and forth. Oh yeah, he bit my lure and must have pulled the hook off. He must have, oh, he almost cut my line too. Oh, I thought I had him. I tried to get him. He jumped out of my net. He makes another another round. He was wrapped up. He spins around and the hook comes out. Well, maybe I should make another round kind of fishing through again, but we hit the little hugger, mate.
Oh, what is that? What is that? Did I hook another one? Because this feels big. I think I did. Hear that? It's a big old fish. It's a big old fish no matter what. Oh, I'm afraid this is going to break me off. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit. This is bigger. I'm going to loosen that drag up and let it kind of... Ryan, so he didn't cut me off because I got it on my. I switched to the Yum Dinger, and I already went through all these areas. Oh man, I just want to see this thing. Don't come off on me, please. Be hooked in the corner. He's gonna take me downstream. He's going up. Good, stay upstream. Get in there. Dude, I can't get him up. I can't get this guy up. I don't want to go down there. This thing is big. This thing is big. I want to find a bank. If I can't even get him in the net, I want to take him to a bank somewhere to get him out. Man, I'm gonna start putting pressure on him in a minute. Oh, it's a musky. I just saw him come up. Well, I mean, I got this on my medium rod. And I am, I got pretty loose drag. I just don't want him breaking off or coming loose. He's getting me close to that current back there. I don't want to go down that current. Tell you what, he's just all over the place. I hope this thing fits in my net. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on. Oh my, that's awesome. That's so cool to see. That's cool, because that's what I came for. It's about to be the second one that's got to get off here, because he's pulling really hard. If he just doesn't have the hook in there right or just turns with his gill. He's not a monster musky, but he's a big fish. All right, he's about, I think he's getting ready. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh. Quit twisting like that. When he twists, I'm afraid he's gonna catch it in his gill. He's gonna cut me off. Coming, he's coming. Yes! Yes! We got it. We got it in the net. All right. All right. Stay in the net. Goodness, he about jumped in my lap. <laughs> Look at that. Came out. Look at that. He's thicker than I thought he was. Oh man. Musky. Tennessee musky right there. That is the reason I came here. Didn't think I'd catch him on a first one I hooked on a Hilgermite. This bigger one came on a Yum Dinger. Oh man. Dude, that is really cool. One more look. Let's get him back in the water. Beautiful fish there. Oh, I don't know how long he is. He's at least 30 inches. It's not like a giant for a muskie, but maybe more than that. Maybe like 33. 
Still probably weighs 10 pounds or more. Well, that's what I came for. I came to this hole because I wanted to catch a muskie. And I thought I'd catch some smallmouth. I haven't got a single bass, any kind of bass bite. I haven't seen nothing else. Two muskie have bitten. And the first one was like 15 minutes ago. And then this one hit. And I don't know how long it fought for. It was like five minute fight at least. But look what it did to that hook. Like it had just bit the hook on the side. And if it had taken a little bit deeper, it would have cut the line. But it must have just had the hook in there. And it crunched it and like bent that hook out. Good thing this is winter time. And um, it doesn't put so much stress on them. And you can tell these fish, I've caught um, pike before and they do the same kind of thing. They'll, after the fight, they'll just kind of, you just let them go and they just sit right there. The muskie did the same, he, he swam over the bank, just sat right there for a while, you know, gathered themselves. Then he swam back up in the deep. Man, that was really cool. Really cool to see these fish and be able to target them and actually catch one. Not the way I thought. I've been throwing a spinnerbait, then I threw a topwater, end up getting both of them on um, soft plastics and that's another thing I've way I've caught pike before. I've, I've caught more of them on like soft plastics than I have on like the flashier or the louder baits. Whew, I've been here about an hour and a half and it was worth it, worth the two hour drive and just a fish for an hour and a half just to be able to land that fish right there. Oh man, I almost stopped early again. I was getting ready to stop fishing after an hour and 10 minutes. And then I got a little bite from that first one that came off. Kind of thought, okay, let's change things up a little bit. All these salt, these um, calm banks that I'd fished before, I figured this is where the muskie were. But the spinnerbait and topwater, nothing, you know, they didn't come up and get it. Throw the umdinger, I get one and land one. I'm trying to figure out how to do the next one. What do I need to fish with now? Dude, check that out. I've been through here one time before. Never knew it was there. Let's go check that out. Man, it's coming down fast. Let's go look at that waterfall. I'm always gotta keep exploring. I'm always looking for that next place to go, just like where I went today. Dude, it was so cool. I uh, landed that one muskie and uh, seeing that other one. I fished there maybe two and a half hours. Uh, I kind of just kept circling the same big hole like four times and I'm like, all right, I've gone around. I'm surprised I didn't catch any bass there, but this water up here is, I'm up a little higher elevation and um, it's probably a little colder, but we'll end it out exploring this, just go over here and look at this waterfall. And uh, I'm just kind of going down this road, just kind of looking for different accesses and just different waterways. And that's how I found this one, like six months ago. It took me six months to come to it. So let's check out this waterfall. It's like two foot deep and then the water goes back into the ground. 